This video is to show how to create sketch blocks within SolidWorks and show how you can put relationships between these blocks as if you would with solid models. So let's start off. Let's go into our front plane and create a sketch. And let's make some geometry. So we're going to make a rectangle. We won't worry about dimensions at this time. We'll just place some geometry in. Um, so I have a sketch of a rectangle with a line. I'm going to create a block from this. So I'm going to go Tools, Blocks, Make, select my geometry. I can choose an insertion point. It defaults to here, so that'll be fine. And you can see I create a block within my sketch. So let's create some more geometry. Let's create And we'll do the same thing. Tools, blocks, make, select it, OK. Uh, let's make something else. Maybe we could go here. Line, let's put a dimension in here. We'll say this is 45 degrees. Maybe put a circle on the end. And same thing, tools, blocks, make. Uh, let's create one more. Maybe make a slot. And tools, blocks, make, select it, create it. So we have one, two, three, four blocks. They're all independent. If we wanted to edit one, we can always just select it, edit, and change it as we see fit. Uh, but the great thing is that we can actually put dimensions and relationships between these blocks. So let's go back. I'm going to edit this block. And I'm going to put another circle right here. And everything is kind of floating around. So I'm going to lock this one, make it coincident. And I'm going to make this line horizontal. So this block is now fully defined. I'm going to say this line and this line are collinear. I'm going to make these two coincident. I'm going to slide this off. Maybe put a dimension from here to here. 27. I'm going to edit this block and maybe bring this down. Uh, in this block, what I'm going to do is maybe put a tangent constraint from there to there, and a tangent constraint from there to there. So you can see very quickly, you can have, oh, let's put a, some geometry here. Let's make this at 45 degrees. And you can see I have relationships between my blocks. So I could perhaps slide this down and then put a horizontal constraint. And then possibly remove my dimension. And then what I'll do is I'll put a dimension from here to here. So that'll fix that. And then flip this over if it'll let me. Hmm. Oh, it won't let me flip it over because there's a tangent constraint between this and this. So what I can do is actually remove that tangent constraint and flip it over. 
So that is an example on how to create 2D sketch blocks in SOLIDWORKS and then put it relationships between them.